Hey guys, my name's Josh. I'm the host of Countdown to Classic, a World of Warcraft classic podcast that some of you may have heard of. Now, we got some classic news a few hours ago, so I thought I'd do a quick video just to let you know what's going on with that. And then this video is going to bleed into a call that I recorded for the show about this very topic. So that's why the video is quite a bit long. This is only going to go for three or four minutes, this little explanation here, but then you'll get to the meat of it, which is a call with some of the listeners. So if you listen to the show, you know what goes on there. If you haven't heard the show before, please do have a listen and see what the community thinks of some of this news. So basically what's happened is we have had Blizzard come out in the late hours of Good Friday, about 9.30 PST, uh, 9.30 PM PST, I should say, and say that the... All the buzz the last few days, people have been wondering what's going on. We've seen something uploaded onto the content delivery network. We've been wondering, what is it? Is it a beta? Is it an alpha? Is it friends and family? What's going on? Well, Blizzard felt the need to come and comment on it um, because videos were being released. Forums were being posted everywhere saying, you know, spe wild speculation. They just said, look, guys, cool your jets. It's an internal employee alpha testing phase. That's what is happening right now. That's what you're seeing going up on the CDN. So... People will basically have their beta expectations quelled somewhat by this news. Now, it is a little bit sad to hear. Some people were getting very excited that we might be playing open beta very, very, very soon. Um, seems to not be the case here. So that's the TLDR of it all. I'm not going to read it out to you. It's a very short post, as you can see. That's basically what it's telling you. Employees only, internal testing alpha. That term alpha is being used. So funnily enough, if some of you follow me through the, dis the show's Discord and listen to the show, um, some of you might have worked out that I did know a little something about this. Now, I'm just showing you some tweets on screen now. This one came up the other day from Martin Benjamins, who is one of the data miners that's been going into the files and obviously fueling some of the speculation about what may come. And he said uh, this about uh, 24 hours ago, I think, something that I missed during the Classic Deploy last night. They also added it to the Battle.net app where it is currently named WoW Classic Alpha, meaning Blizzard is currently still handling this as alpha testing. I actually retweeted this and said, for all you WoW Classic fans, amongst all the mayhem of the past couple of days, this tweet is the one. One to look at warmer warmer you're getting closer to figuring out what's going on follow the white rabbit to irvine so obviously blizzard has come out and confirmed like i was trying to help lead you guys to the fact that it is yes very much so just an alpha uh, i've also got some old discord messages here that i thought i'd show you for a bit of a laugh from last thursday saying i'm on the record saying it's not beta confirmed but you know i'm an asshole so who cares what i think and uh, then also saying just saying that i don't think beta is coming around the corner but who knows surprise us please look i did know this guys i've got a source who told me this about two and a half weeks ago i do know a little bit more information but i, I don't want to get into the nitty-gritty of that some of the fun of this whole thing is going to be speculation so have a listen to this call now tell me what you think in the comments and if you haven't heard the show please do head to countdown to classic.com it's a podcast that is now 100 episodes deep talking about everything and anything world of warcraft classic it's really really popular amongst the community so please Please do check it out and now i'll queue over to that call thanks everyone see you later all right it's time for another countdown to classic emergency call we have just had some big news drop and i've rallied the crew and we are going to have a bit of a discussion about it i'm exceptionally hung over after a big stream drinking with a few of the guys last night so this should be a bit of fun but i've got the always dependable ale with me how are you mate uh, doing well Doing better than me, I'll bet. Taladrill is here as well. How are you, mate? I'm doing fantastic. Great. And one of my partners in crime from the drinking session last night, who I hate because he's sounding much healthier than me, Locke, how are you? I'm doing perfectly fine. Wonderful day. <sighs> you smug son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. So, guys, I was sitting around the house having a really nice little day in bed watching some Game of Thrones stuff on YouTube and just recovering from my hangover. And then this big news drops at a really, really random time of the day. It was like 9.30 at night, Pacific Standard Time. On a good Friday, no less. Such an odd time to get this short, short post from Blizzard, a blue post, saying... You know, basically, I'm, I'm not going to read it out word for word, but the TLDR is, hey, guys, there's been a lot of speculation going on lately about this thing that's gone up on the CDN, being the content delivery network. Um, guess what? That's an employee. That's an internal alpha. So that's what it is. Hope that answers your question. See you later. Smoke bomb. Now, 
this was relieving for me to hear because some of you know, some of you don't know. Um, I have known about this for the past two and a half weeks. I was contacted by a source who gave me a fair bit of information about this. I know a bit more that we'll get into. Um, you know, I won't divulge some of the things that I know, but we'll get into what I do know later in the call. But it was really, really relieving for me to see Blizzard address this. Now I can talk about a, a, at least a little bit of what I know. And now we know what's happening. Okay, it's we didn't know whether it was an alpha, a beta, a, a, a friends and family. What is it? Well, they've said employees only alpha. So AL, I'll start with you. Now that we know this, where does this put things for you in terms of release? I mean, I think this definitely pushes it back. Uh, I've been pretty steadfast in my stance that I don't believe we're getting a beta. and. I think I'm one of like kind of the few people who really believe that just based like you can't compare this to what any other, you know, game they've done previously because this is like uncharted territory. So for people trying to compare saying, Oh, you know, they've had a beta for BFA. That's going to happen or they're doing this or that. It, I don't, I don't think, I think they're breaking the mold with this totally. So I've, I've said since the start, I don't think there's going to be a beta. They're going to keep everything under wraps. I think this news helps to kind of confirm that as well as potentially push it back. Okay. Tyler Drill, I'll turn to you now. How did this news work for you? Has it affected your guess as to a release date now that you know we are in a phase where the employees are internally in an alpha? It sort of confirms what I was expecting because everybody was acting like, oh, it's going to be right around the corner, right around the corner. And I thought, I don't. I don't see that happening. You know, I think we need to see some kind of solid movement. Like they were even hashing out some real like structural decisions on these blue posts that were far before any actual finalizing. But I think too, that um, just in general, why we got a blue post at such a weird time was probably just so people didn't start hyping themselves up over the Easter weekend. I think they were just, <laughs> they were wanting to just throw some water on the fire and be like, guys, 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 this is just an alpha. And, and maybe Ale's right. Maybe they're saying this is just an alpha. And wait, did we ever confirm that we were giving you a beta? Like that was never going to happen, you know? So maybe that's what they're trying to say here too, just to keep people from salivating too much. Yeah, I guess it does help us, um, you know, not kick down the door at Irvine going, where the fuck is this beta? It's like, hey, we never said anything about a beta. So it's a very good point, Taladrill. Locke, I'll turn to you, mate. And, you know, we talked a little bit about this last night on stream um, on a call that tragically is now kind of, you know, defunct, if you will. I'll, I'll throw that in the Discord for people to have a fun listen to, but this one would supersede it now that we have this information. But going off of what you said last night versus hearing this news now, what does this mean to you? Where, you know, being at the, you know, the middle of April where we are, knowing that, you know, summer is around the corner and they've just started their internal alpha. What does that mean to you? Um, well, as I said last night, the only reason they'd put something like this on the content management system is if they wanted people to act some, at least some group of people to access it. And we now know what that group of people is. It's the employees at Blizzard. But uh, you said it's internal. Um, I'd say it's, you know, it's internal for Blizzard, but I think it's also external in the fact that they want their employees playing this at home to test it out. They want, you know, these at least one server up and running with Blizzard employees running around it, testing out whatever they can, having a bit of fun in their off time, I think. So I think this is like the very, very, very first stage of that testing process. And we're actually getting this, you know, see that a bit now by having access to that client, which, you know, some people have already, you know, downloaded and have been running around on their own individual little private version servers of it. Absolutely. Now, I'll jump in and just extrapolate a little bit on that point that you've raised of, you know, the nature of the internal testing process. It th What we got from Bornak, the blue post over at the uh, forum, says, we recently began a phase of internal employee alpha testing. That's all he says. And I've, I've gone a little bit further and I've said, from what I know, it is absolutely employee only. Some people were saying like, oh, Josh, how do you know that? It doesn't say anything about that. I'm adding that on. It's employee only. This is not a friends and family. This is in a situation where employees have been given a few keys and said, go out and give it to your mates and have fun running around in classic. This is as, as for everything I've seen and heard is just employee. So knowing that, do you think that, you know, appreciating that it is still an alpha, do you think that part of the reason they've gone down this route, I mean, they were always going to do internal testing, that's fine, but do you feel like they are 
keeping a playable version away from us because of possible blowback? Or do you, I mean, because you're saying you don't know whether we're going to get a beta or not at all. And that is still an option, I guess. Just release the game. Don't even do a beta. Just have this, this internal alpha and then bang, it's out there. Do you think that they might be keeping it away for us from us because of potential blowback? Or do you think that that is, I guess what I'm getting at is, do you think there's any problem with only having Blizzard staff look at this thing and not the community at large? I, I, th- I think it's part of the process. Like you start internal, you start with employees, and then if they want to open it up to the public later, which I think they'd probably want to do for stress testing, then they do that later. But for the time being, they're obviously quite happy just to keep it internal. Blizzard does most of the things it does internal and only ever tends to bring the public into it near the very end of the process. Mm. Ail, what do you reckon? Yeah, I, I feel like uh, the reason, like for this especially, is that there's probably a lot of bigger issues um, that they need to resolve first before, even if at all, it's released to the public. Um, there's also like another issue that people haven't really talked about if they were to go with an open beta, is that a lot of people who are kind of fence-sitting on whether they're going to play or not may try it out and then maybe either be disheartened from playing it and then having their, their characters wipe, or, you know, for other reasons they try and they don't like it, where by them not uh, releasing a beta and just having, you know, the live version, they get people to actually play that. I don't know if that's, like, a big consideration for them, but, um, like, I think that is something to consider. Taladril, what's your thoughts on sort of restricting this i mean again it's not unexpected yes there's going to be internal testing but this alpha testing being restricted to the blizzard employees and not a friends and family type thing which might spread a little bit of a wider net do you think that that might limit some of the bugs that they pick up or are you pretty confident like fuck it's blizzard they made the game they're going to pick up on everything I'd really worry if they don't do some kind of beta with uh, at least some of the private server community people because there's a lot of questions. That everybody's just sitting there waiting, going, "Let's test this. Let's test this. We want to, you know, see how it goes." Um, I think Blizzard will get pretty close, but I think there's a lot of small things that they might miss. I think Ale's point is really good, though, that, you know, people on the fence, they might try it out. And Classic isn't really the kind of game where you play it for a couple hours and go, hey, I don't like it. You know, you, you got to really invest. And I think that that fresh server feel gets that hype going for people. So I think, you know, maybe what they do, you know, what I would think that they should do maybe is like maybe a closed beta where they have more than alpha they have a larger release, but it's not to just any old person. Like people who are coming in fresh, they're not going to have that opportunity. It's only people who are really interested in, in trying it out. The blowback. I think that's something they have to be worried about because if they, they released it uh, too early and there's still a lot of major issues, I think that definitely like, you know, fire up the pitchforks because, you know, people are going to be like, wow, you guys promised us like a summer release. You've released it now. And like, you know, things aren't working still. Like what's going on? Right. And I think that would, could be disastrous. It could cause a lot of people to actually lose faith in this where so far, you know, they've done nothing but build faith. So it's kind of like, like us not seeing it is good news because we don't know that it could be bad right now. Yeah. Okay. Locked. I'll turn to you now. Listener Pat's Knights is raising in Twitch chat that obviously, hey, Apex did pretty well with no beta. We just dived straight into it. And that's a, that's a very good point to raise. Do you feel like the community at large? Now I know, you know, we're a pretty reasonable bunch, the listeners of this show and the Discord members, but the community at large, do you think that from, from what you've seen and heard and your sort of feel of the vibe of it all, do you feel like people would be pretty uh, forgiving for lots of bugs being available when we get our hands on a pl- whatever it is, whether it's a beta, whether it's the release version, the final release version of the game. Do you think that we're going to be forgiving in terms of bugs or do you think there will be a larger portion of the community than perhaps Blizzard sort of is aware of that might go, oh, fuck this, you idiots, there's bugs everywhere, I'm walking away? Uh, it really depends on what you classify as a bug. Like, is a bug going to be something that's different from the private servers? Maybe the private servers had something wrong the entire time. Or is it going to be something obvious such as the uh, MP, HP regeneration that we saw in the uh, BlizzCon demo? Like, I'm going to presume, and, you know, maybe I'm just putting a bit too much faith in Blizzard, that they've actually, you know, been going through with a fine-tooth comb over the you know, last six months trying to find all of those things. 
I think if we get a beta for the public, it's not going to be a beta for finding these broken bugs and so forth. It's going to be a bit of a um, more of a server stress testing on those new features such as sharding and so forth and not really something aimed at bug hunting and so on. I reckon they're going to have most of that uh, fixed and there'll only be some really minor issues in there that are, you know, only the most hardcore of us will probably be able to actually find and uh, point out. Okay, Ail, I'll just ask you something new. Now, we were discussing also some of the screenshots that have been put out there, and obviously Tips did a video recently with some of the screenshots that, that, that he's been sent. Um, the data miners have been getting stuck into something. Now, I am far from an expert when it comes to data mining. I don't know anything about it. Can you, can you explain to people the significance of what we've seen over the last couple of days in terms of those screenshots? Yeah, it, it, it's interesting because um, I was able to actually catch a stream last night that I think is like highly against the TOS showing how people are able to get this information basically and get these screenshots. And there's a, a sandbox client that you can download uh, for BFA to actually load in data pulled off of that CDN. And because this is like an 8.0 version, you can actually run that on uh, the sandbox. So what people are doing is they're pulling in uh, the, the classic data off that CDN and yeah, sorry. Uh, they're, they're pulling the data off that CDN and they're basically loading it into what is effectively like a private server. It's like a sandbox that isn't connected to anything Blizzard. It's like internal for only like you. And then they're playing around with it, um, running around the world. All the art assets and stuff are there, but like, all the like, um, you know, Blizzard side stuff isn't, uh, for example, like, you know, whatever happens on the server side. Okay. Now, there was a lot of stuff in there that I was a bit confused about in terms of, you know, high level items on, you know, low level characters and stuff. And I guess that's what data mining is all about. It's you just get to go in and pull out whatever object you can. You take the photo and it's all good to go. Taladrill, did you get any information out of those screenshots that you'd been dying to find out? Did it solve any mysteries for you? Or do you think that it's all legit? It's all good? Or are you still skeptical? Or what's your take? Uh, the biggest takeaway that we saw was uh, that items were 1.12 values. So things that had specific stat changes throughout the game, they weren't changed. They were only end game style. So that is just one more sort of confirmation that they really are not looking at doing a progressive stat itemization kind of thing. So that just makes us understand where we're at with that. You know, whether it be good or bad, I don't think it's that big of a deal per se, but it definitely uh, impacts what people were planning for things. Locke, we talked about this last night in terms of those 1.12 items. And I think I was saying, and you, you may have been, you may have been saying the same thing. It seems like it's the case where they legit just don't have that old data. At BlizzCon, we got told, look, maybe we've got the 1.9, 1.10, 1.11 1 stuff. Who knows? But it, it seems to be like maybe they don't have anything but 1.12. What do you think? Um, yeah, we had, had a pretty long conversation about this and basically, you know, the way we, what we talked about generally was, okay, Blizzard back in the day weren't just saving everything they did. They, you know, started at 1.1 and when they wanted to add things to the game, they didn't save a copy of 1.1. They just started building on top of it. And what we end up with is, you know, several patches later, they're at 1.6. They've ignored, you know, they don't have a copy of that old stuff anymore because they've just built on top of it. And eventually we get to 1.12 where they actually finally saved a copy of their data. Um, and honestly, I think it's a good thing. I think. Um, having that progressive itemization, uh, I, other than the PvP stuff, I wish we had the older PvP stuff in there. But otherwise, I feel like you know these these later items are a bit more balanced. Some of them, some of these items were pretty broken in their original forms. Some of them were a bit underpowered in their original forms. And we have these newer versions of these items that are going to be accessible from the get go. Uh, once we get classic, which I think is great, um, you know, it's going to be really fun when a warrior charges me with a. 1.12 Bone Reaver's Edge and cuts me into the great. Taladrill. Drill. Now, what are the, some of the things that you're busting to find out if, let's say hypothetically, if you were able to run around in this alpha, what are the more pressing features for you now as to whether or not they're in the game? Um, we'd want to see some mechanics. Mostly, I would be worried mostly about exploit mechanics um, and other just basic ones that they're working. So I'd want to see you know, potentially like spell scaling, see how that's working for some key items. 
want to see, you know, what armor. I know they said, you know, they've got armor for some of the mobs. It's like, is that what it's going to be? Or is that just like initial numbers? Um, those are the kind of things that would really impact where things are and maybe where we'd say, hey, let's do some pushback and say maybe we need to make some changes for these things because I, I don't want the game to be broken. And, and the problem is, is like some of these things may be accurate to 1.12. So it's like, well, you know, Blizzard put in what they saw, but it doesn't mean that that's the right way to do it. So that would be what I'd want to have the community be able to start talking about. That would be my biggest thing. All right. Now, Locke, how about you? Do you have a little wish list of things you want to find out about if you could get a chance to run around in the alpha? Oh, um, the biggest thing I'd actually want to find out about is um, things like uh, wall jumping and wall walking. Uh, wall walking, for those who don't know, is the, pretty much the ability to skirt around walls. That was changed in vanilla, but uh, wall jumping was not, which is basically being able to slowly jump up walls and get to areas you're not supposed to. I'd love to see if that's still there because that was a whole lot of fun back in the day. All right. Now, guys, I might sort of round out this one on the, on the home turn, unless there's anything else that you guys are, are bust. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it to you. I'll give you a bit of an open, you know, um, open question here, very open in terms of, is there anything else that, that you want to get off your chest about this particular news? Now, did this change anything else for you? Do you, um, want, do you think we're going to start hearing stories from people? Are there going to be leaks coming our way about like, oh, this is in the alpha, blah, blah, blah. Like, what do you expect from here? Uh, I actually expected to be quiet for a little while. I think this is, I think they came to us with this information to kind of settle down the rabble rousers a bit. I feel like with this, with this news for us, there's probably going to be a, a period of, uh, you know, less communication from Blizzard. I, they said there'll be more news soon, but I think for the time being, they have kind of put this out now to quiet down the rabble rousing. Because if you look at what's happened in the past few days, people have been literally confirming that there is a beta coming. Like they've said, I can confirm there is a beta. And then, you know, it's created this furor around it. So I think they put this out there to manage our expectations for a little while, kind of quiet everything down for a little bit. And then I think we can look to find, to get some more information in probably a couple of weeks, depending on, you know, how this round of internal alpha goes. Well, that was the really hard part for me over the last few days is watching, as you say, the rabble rousing and seeing words like confirmed get thrown around, which really sort of, you know, grinds my gears um, in terms of, look, yeah, okay, the data miners found out that something was happening. But, you know, when we see things like beta confirmed, it's like, no, nothing's confirmed, settle down. But, you know, I knew what was happening and I didn't say anything. And I felt like when you come out and deliver news that people don't want to hear, like it's great that Blizzard has now come out and said this, hey, guys, employee only alpha. If I had have come out and said, hey, guys, guess what? It's an employee only alpha. That's not necessarily what people wanted to hear because it bums them out because they had their uh Hopes held quite high for, you know, open beta or what have you sometime soon. Now, I, I've basically decided to sit on the news because I didn't want people going, fuck this guy. He's not telling me what, what I want to hear. He's a, he's a fraud star. He's full of shit. He probably doesn't have any sources. He just wants the attention, blah, blah, blah. But now we can sort of come out and talk about it and shoot down this. Well, no, it wasn't a beta. It was something. It was an alpha. So it's good to at least have that address. And I do totally understand where Blizzard was coming from in case things went down a pretty wild rabbit hole there. So anyway, that, that's where we went with it. Now I, I, as I've sort of alluded to i do know when this alpha ends but you know people can criticize me for holding on to that information and again i'll, I'll take your slings and arrows i'll take the oh you know he's, he's full of shit he's just trying to hold on to something for a bit of attention dangling in front of us he doesn't have anything well i can guarantee you i do i would have hoped that over this time i've built up some level of trust with the, the community or the listeners Wait, sir, so you're saying that you're not going to tell us the date the next thing you're going to say is you're going to be rolling on na as well <laughs> I know, right? Well, no, that's exactly it. I'm, I'm not going to be telling people that, that there is a window of time when this alpha ends and I will not let people know that. I've got people PMing me already saying, Josh, you've got to tell me. Come on, man. I booked some annual leave. You've got to help me out here. I just can't because you tell one person, then it all runs to hell. And also, I just think that the speculation is part of the fun. And this is what I want to ask you about, Locke. Then I'd love to hear from uh, Ale and Taladrill on this as well. Do you feel like there is a bit of fun in the mystery? No, I need to know now. Tell me everything <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> Ayo, what do you reckon? Um, or Taladril, go for it. <laughs> yeah, I'll go. No, I don't care. When it comes out, it comes out. I don't <laughs> – it can be next week. It can be next month, whatever. Okay. I, I, li- I like the mystery. I like the shitstorm that's been happening the last few days. So more of – More of it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think the more mystery, the better. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm completely with you. I, I just think that if you come out and say, look, this is the date that the alpha ends, then it can sort of, you know, it it absolutely might murder a certain period of time for people going, oh, well, I wanted it to cut to come out next week, and now you've ruined that for me. And it's like it's only lose-lose in my opinion. Uh, I think it can be win-win. Like you might have those people that are like, oh, I was really hoping it comes out next week. You've ruined it for me. But then you'll be, you know, have those people like, oh, that's coming out at the perfect time for me. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, true. Well, anyway, I've, as I said, I've said enough. I am going to hold on to it. So that's where we're at. Um, it's good to get this information out there. Employee only internal testing has begun. It is deemed an alpha and that's where we're at. So guys, I might wind up the call here as my dog and cats go ballistic in the background. Thanks so much for joining us again, Ale. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. And Taladrill, thanks for coming on to the last second, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. And Locke, mate, you're a legend. You're always here for me, and, and I love you. I'm sorry I can't tell you the date, but I'll make it up to you. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's uh, wonderful to be back again.